Volatile and sacred, those words describe Israel's largest city. KITV4 photographer Nate Sirota takes us on to one of the holiest sites in Jerusalem. It has been a view seen by tens of millions over thousands of years, yet each person sees the ancient city in a different way. For Christians, it is the place of Christ's crucifixion. For Muslims, the site of Muhammad's night journey. And for Jews, the ancient capital of King David's Israel. All agree it is the holiest of cities. And the most sacred site in the Jewish faith is the wall. It is the only remnant of the temple that once stood on this hill. First called the Wailing Wall because its name translates to Place of Weeping, it is called the Western Wall today where prayers are said and heard. I feel something really special in my heart when I come here. I feel really close to my history and my heritage and it's just a feeling that you get and it makes me feel holy as well and part of something greater than myself. Every day, the plaza fills with thousands of pilgrims from across the globe eager to deposit prayer and chant at what once supported the now destroyed Second Temple. But not every visitor shares that transcendental experience. It felt special being at the site. It, I didn't feel any like inner spiritualness or anything, but it felt good, I guess, in my heart just to you know, do it for the tradition. What visitors to the plaza see is only half of the actual wall. The stones extend 43 more feet below the floor, reaching into layers of soil and rock, no doubt tread by the prophets and sages of three great religions. 